The impact of feed physical quality on the performance of the modern broiler is well known in the industry. It is of vital importance to promote the use of feeds of good physical quality in the field. This is practically assessed by the size distribution of the feed particles presented to the birds. Recently, the global nutrition team at Aviagen developed the shaker sieve as a method for demonstrating the particle size distribution of feed in a straightforward and easily observed manner. The shaker sieve is a useful, portable tool for quantifying the particle size distribution at farm level and allowing comparison with the recommended particle size distribution. This will also allow quantitative comparison between feed deliveries or flocks. The method of taking the feed sample is important as this can have a major impact on the result. The aim is to get a sample that best represents the physical feed quality that is presented to the birds. Generally, samples should be taken from the hopper closest to the feeders. Sometimes it is necessary to take the sample from the feeders themselves. For example, if a long auger is used to supply the feed to the feeders. Samples should be taken from three points, mixed and then laid out and quartered. Two opposite quarters should then be taken for testing. Remove the lid and slide the lid vertically into the groove in the center of the first compartment that is labeled greater than three millimeters. Then fill the left compartment only with feed sample. Take the lid out of the vertical groove and slide the lid back to close the shaker. Turn the sieve so that it stands vertically upright with the largest compartment at the top. Shake the sieve for approximately one minute. Make sure you shake vigorously as the fine particles have to move all the way to the last compartment. After one minute, stop shaking the sieve. Return the sieve to a sideways position so that the numbers printed on the side of the sieve can be read. Ensure the feed particles are level within each compartment before recording the measurements. Next, read and record the values indicated in each compartment using the measurement scale on each compartment. For the particles greater than 3 millimeters in the first compartment, use the values of the left-hand scale. For all other compartments, use the values on that compartment. Calculate the percentages in each compartment, add the values of all four compartments together, resulting in a total value. Then divide the value of each section by the total value to produce the percentage. Or, you may also use the spreadsheet tool provided with the sieve. The spreadsheet will automatically calculate the percentage of each particle size fraction. Target particle size distribution for crumble and pellet is shown in these tables. The shaker sieve can also be used to assess the particle size distribution of mash feeds. Recent aviagen trials with mash feed have confirmed that fine particle mash should be avoided, as it is a negative impact on performance. Coarse or medium mash is much more suitable for broilers. This is particularly the case if the energy level of the feed is low. These tables show ideal particle size distribution for coarse mash feed. If the results of the sieve analysis are outside the profiles in the tables provided, then discussion should be held with the farm and feed mill to identify the factors contributing to poor feed physical quality or degradation and to provide solutions. There are a number of possible contributing factors to consider. Feed manufacture at the mill. Movement of feed from the end of the production line to storage bins and onto transport vehicles. Haulage in terms of distance and vehicle design and suitability. Method of discharging feed from the vehicle to the on-farm storage. Conveyance from on-farm feed storage bins to feeder pans. This can often result in degradation of feed texture. For more information on the optimum impact of feed physical quality on broiler performance, contact Aviagen at info at or visit the company's website at www.
www.aviagen.com.